Hey guys, this is Justin from Studio G and today we're going to look at three airbrushes that might be right for you. We'll be looking at a beginner airbrush, an advanced one, and a specialty airbrush. Let's do this. Before we start on anything, I just want to say that I am not paid to do this review and even though Gallery is my official partner, I can assure you that the reason why we became partners is because of their quality products and not the other way around. They even flew me over to meet with the design team and visited their factories and all that stuff. So I can truly attest to what they're doing here. Now let's get started. The first airbrush that we're looking at is the Gallery GH8039, a dual action gravity fat 0.35mm and 0.5mm combo airbrush currently priced at $45.99 on Amazon. Before we start, let me explain what's dual action, what's gravity fan, and what's 0.35 and 0.5 millimeter in layman's term in less than 45 seconds about airbrushes. Let's go. A dual action airbrush means that the lever has dual function. You push down for air and pull back for paint to come out. Gravity fat means that the paint is fed into the airbrush using gravity itself. Unlike a siphon type airbrush where the paint is located at the bottom, then the paint is siphoned upwards to be sprayed out. 0.35, 0.5 millimeters, or, or any measurement you see on an airbrush means that the diameter of the needle and airbrush nozzle. The bigger the number, the wider it sprays, which means the more surface is covered. For example, the automobile industry typically use 1.7 to 2.2 millimeters airbrush sizes. So now you know. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below and if you know them, please have Help answer them as well. Thank you. <gasps> now let's get back to the airbrush. We have reached the limit of innovation and design of an airbrush, especially for a gravity fat type airbrush. It is an even level playing field right now for most of the manufacturers out there. We have the nozzle in the front, the paint cup, the lever, the needle, and the flow control knob at the back. The design of an airbrush is kind of set. The difference in what makes a good airbrush aren't about the design anymore, it's about the quality value and price. The Gallery GH8039 airbrush is no doubt an airbrush engineer for beginner. Its low price makes the entry bar really low for anyone who wants to get their feet wet. The actual design of the airbrush is similar to the Pro airbrush that's coming up. But the difference is in the quality and the way it is manufactured. Let's put it in a way that is more understandable. If there's a scale of material, quality and precision and polishing level rated from 1 to 10, 1 being the worst and 10 being the best, then the GH8039 will be rated around 6 out of 10. Now, 6 is fantastic. If if you factor in the price that you're paying, the features, and the stuff you'll be getting out of the box. Now let's get into it. You get two replaceable paint cups from the box at a quarter ounce and a half ounce. This means that you can interchange the cups depending on your workflow and what you're working on. Also, replaceable cups are convenient for cleaning, maintenance, or swapping colors. This feature is usually seen in more expensive premium airbrushes. The inside of the cups is polished, smoother than I've seen before, making it easier for you to clean your airbrush. You also get two interchangeable nozzles and needles. Out of the box, you can either go for 0.35 or 0.5 millimeter, depending on what you're working on. The nozzle designs are exclusive to Gallery, meaning that they specifically engineer self-centering drop-in nozzles for easier maintenance, large clogging, and easier assembly and disassembly. The airbrush I typically use uses a small wrench to remove the nozzle, and it's a hassle sometimes when you're mid-painting or hit a clock or something. Now, the problem is gone for good. The unique nozzles have eight micro air channels that improve the paint quality, translating to a more even paint job, better and finer looking gradient effects. You can achieve better paint job even as a beginner. The airbrush also comes with additional useful items like lubrication for your lever, extra O-rings that are very hard to purchase separately, and a quick release mill fitting in case you're already using a quick release system. The cutaway handle is a feature hardly seen in any beginner's airbrush. Now there are several use for the cutaway handle and it is said to bring better aesthetics, provides visual feedback for the fluid control knob and it makes airbrush bleeding so much more manageable without using the lever or if your lever is stuck somehow. At only $37.99, it is something that a beginner would appreciate. The quality is good, the results are good and best of all, if this is your first airbrush, the investment and learning curve is also so low. Now we have something for the beginners. It's time for some pro level stuff. What I got here is the Gallery GH8098D. It's the flagship airbrush from Gallery and it's truly a masterpiece. Remember when I spoke about the material quality, precision, and polishing level rated from 1 to 10? While GH8039 is rated a 6, the GH8098D is rated at 10 on all levels. And I genuinely mean what I said. With that said, the GH8098D comes with a premium price tag of $119.99. 99 cents. 
Here's an update for you guys. As soon as the official announcement of Gallery's partnership and I on YouTube, Gallery CEO Gerald made the announcement of dropping the price of GSAC 98D from $119.99 to $99.99 permanently. You can check out the official announcement video, link in the description. Now let's get back to the video. I won't name any brands out there, but I've seen way more airbrushes that cost way more that offer less in value and quality. The GH 8098D sports a 0.38 and 0.5mm needles and nozzles, making it versatile for all occasions. Having a higher quality polish and build on the needles makes all the difference. The GH 8098D can produce even finer and better atomization effect combined with 8 micro air channel nozzle tip. In layman's term, you can produce extremely fine details with close to perfect gradient effect. Your paint job will be smooth like butter with the right paint quality and consistency. Out of the box, you get a replaceable quarter ounce cup that's polished to a mirror finish. And this is no marketing gimmick. The truth is, you probably won't appreciate this tiny feature, but for a seasoned painter like myself, this mirror like cup interior finish means the world to me. With this feature, I won't have to clean the paint cup like I'm used to. Before this, I have to clean the inside of the cup with tissue, a rag, or some cloth. And by doing so, residue from the tissue might contaminate the inside of the airbrush. Over time, they will build up and eventually stick to the airbrush inner surface, affecting its performance in the long run. Now I don't have to do so that often anymore, meaning I can do a quick reverse flow while swirling the cup around and pour out the excess paint and it would be clean. That saved me a bunch of time and made my airbrushing experience way better. You will also get lubrication for the trigger mechanism and lever, extra O-rings, quick release mill fitting and accessories just like the GH8039. Again, let me remind you that the nozzle changes the airbrush game. Unlike any other manufacturers, you don't have to use a small wrench to unfasten the nozzle. You have less risk of bending your needle tip because of the self-centering feature and it has 8 micro air channels for better paint results. In conclusion, the GH8098D provides more control, details and innovative features, making it a pro-level airbrush in every way. Now before we jump into the review of this trigger airbrush, please note that Gallery and I have been working on a whole new trigger type airbrush with a lot of improvements to emphasize on comfort, usability, ergonomics, and position. They are currently running a contest on giving away 10 of the set airbrush on their website. Link in the description and go learn more about it. Now let's get on with this review. We have talked about an airbrush for beginners and pros. Now it's time for a unique airbrush that's near and dear to me. It's a dual action gravity fed specialty airbrush sporting a 0.38 and 0.5 nozzle size. The special part of it is that it is a trigger type airbrush. So why is this airbrush special? Well, it's because it has helped me with my carpal tunnel syndrome. After three years of customizing and painting almost daily, I finally developed a mild carpal tunnel syndrome right around March. I had severe numbness running down my arms and my fingers hurt whenever I tried to pinch or hold something. Man, I can't even hold a chopstick long enough to enjoy a meal and I am Chinese. There's a lot of chopstick holding. I previously reviewed this airbrush on my website and spent a lot of time using it as my main airbrush. I will link the full review in the description. Having difficulties in my hands has hindered my workflow. Using a traditional airbrush just couldn't cut it anymore, as my hand and my arms would numb up even with less than 10 minutes of airbrushing. I feel much more comfortable using the GH8068 airbrush as my fingers aren't awkward and my nerves aren't pinched. Having a trigger puts my hands and my fingers in a more neutral position. It would be like opening and closing my fist. It's natural and non nerve pinching in any way. By no means is the GH8068 a mediocre airbrush. I think the result speaks for itself through my work. If I have to categorize this airbrush, I would say that it's between the GH8039 and the GH8098D. It provides excellent results while being priced reasonably at $79.99. It is a no-brainer for anyone looking for something different to work with, plus it is one of the best dual-action trigger type airbrush on the market right now with precision handling and it is simple to operate too. Pull once until you feel a light resistance for air and pull in full for paint. It is easy to use and you get familiar with it quickly. Out of the box, you get a half ounce and a quarter ounce paint cup, 0.38 and 0.5 millimeter needles and nozzles. Like the other airbrushes, the airbrush has lubrication for the trigger mechanism and lever, extra O-rings, quick release mill fittings. So there you have it, a beginner airbrush, a pro airbrush, and a specialty airbrush. If you're interested in your airbrushes or any products they have, I do have an exclusive discount just for you guys. Just copy and paste the discount code you see on screen when you check out. I've also linked their store alongside with the three airbrushes mentioned in the link in the description. Last but not least, 
which airbrush do you think is right for you? For me, it's the GH8098D plus the GH8068. Leave your answers in the comment section below. I'll see you guys next time with a customization video. Bye-bye.